As a photographer based in the UK, I've always been drawn to destinations north rather than journeys south. The lure of Nordic countries has pulled me in like a magnet, and I've been lucky to visit amazing places such as the Lofoten Islands and Senja in Norway's Arctic Circle, along with the often overlooked location of the Faroe Islands. One location that I always planned to visit was Iceland, but for one reason or another, something always came up or got in the way. Then, finally, I got the opportunity to visit the land of fire and ice. I did a huge amount of planning beforehand to make the most of my time there, so in this special road trip video, I'm serving up 5 must-see locations. The truth is that you don't need to drive across the island to find great photo locations. In fact, two of my five are found in the capital, Reykjavik, and are around a five minute walk from each other. First up is this striking sculpture called the Sun Voyager. Found on the seafront in downtown Reykjavik, the Sun Voyager is a gleaming steel structure created by John Gunnar Arneson and overlooks the freezing waters of the harbour. Now, fair warning this location can be a magnet for other photographers so as always your best chance of capturing a clear shot is to get there mega early for sunrise i prepared well for the cold weather in iceland but this location nearly caught me out the wind that comes off the water is so cold and i could barely feel my fingers i used a tripod and captured a high resolution 80 megapixel frame of my om1 to be honest it's one of my favorite images from the trip as I mentioned, just a short 5 minute walk from the Sun Voyager, you can find Reykjavik's Harper Concert Hall. This is an architectural gem, with a modern design complete with a glass honeycomb structure, and after doing a little recce earlier in the day, I had an image idea in my mind that I wanted to execute. The plan was to visit just after dusk during the blue hour because this would allow the interior lights from inside the concert hall to add extra interest to the frame. Although it's around a two hour drive from Reykjavik, Renesdranga is well worth the journey and in all honesty you could spend all day shooting here. The black volcanic sand ramps up the rugged and raw vibes of this jagged coastline but watch out, the waves can sweep in without any notice making it one of Iceland's more perilous photo locations. In my opinion the black sand lends itself well to mono landscape frames. But like a lot of photo locations in Iceland, you'll have to fight against the immense amount of fellow photographers and other tourists to get the best shots. With clear skies the day I visited, a high contrast monochrome approach worked well, and I also mixed up my focal lengths to zoom in and isolate a stone against the black sand. Iceland has some very special waterfalls and perhaps one of the most stunning is Skogafoss, where the water tips over the edge and drops 200 feet to the plunge pool below. One approach is to head to the top of the waterfall, but if like me you didn't fancy the 527 step climb, then you can shoot from the ground, and actually this is just a short walk from the car park. With my waterproof boots on, I treaded out into the waters and set up a clear composition. The added bonus was the inclusion of a rainbow and this was created by the water spray coming from the waterfall. And so we end with our last location, which is probably the most photographed view in Iceland, but it's of course worth a visit. Kirkafell is around a two hour drive north of Reykjavik and you'll have to pay for parking when you arrive. There's actually a decent shop in town so you can stack up on snacks before you get to that location and your best bet is to time your photography in between the arrival of the tourist coaches. Now the classic Kirkafell view demands a fairly wide angle so something like a 14mm lens on a full frame camera will serve you well. But actually my approach was to shoot multiple frames and stitch them together in Lightroom to create a panorama. Of course, my top 5 locations may be very different to yours and the truth is that Iceland is so full of amazing locations that you can't drive 5 minutes down the road without needing to pull over somewhere safe, jump out, grab the camera and take some epic shots. I really want to get back to Iceland soon and shoot some more images, perhaps during the warmer months as we experience temperatures of minus 15 degrees which does make capturing images a little bit more tricky. 
If you get the chance to visit Iceland, you won't be disappointed.